prepared and we have the app open so boom we can see events we have some filters up here we just go to the tech startup conference and wow this is really really nice so what's going on beautiful people welcome back to the channel and today we are diving in the world of rourke ai while we've seen some of the other platforms focus on the broader coding demographic this platform is looking for the mobile app environment and so we can see down here that they have a few samples that they like people to try visual novel game airbnb style app instagram style app and that's great however we want to try out something that gemini 2.5 has prepared for us so a local event finder and simple meetup planner um, there are apps like this out there but it would be very interesting to see just what Roar comes up with so what we're gonna do is copy this app idea and we are going to paste it in here not much structuring in terms of our prompting or anything like that um and we're going to send it we could give it inspiration here of you know a dashboard or colors that we want to utilize or maybe a brand guide that we want to utilize however we are just going to stick with this prompt so let's try it out And this is really cool. So I actually did not know this. You can scan a QR code. And if you have the Expo Go app, you will be able to actually try out your apps in real time as you're building them. That is very, very powerful. So keep that in mind. After this thing creates it, we can go on our cellular devices and go directly to it, whether it's iOS or Android. So let's let this AI do its thing and we will take a look back soon. We can see in this panel right over here to our left, we have the actual work AI kind of taking our prompt, breaking it down into the key features and actually coming up with a structure for the files for the app. Um, it's probably been trained on best practices for creating, you know, iOS and Android apps. So it knows exactly what those directories should look like. And so Rourke does give you a number of free messages. We have five free messages left today. So if I need to, I will definitely pay for it. But uh, that's only if you guys will want a larger video going more in depth and actually building out something that, you know, we could probably push to market within the next month or so. But we can see that it's creating a number of different things, meetups, event store, meetup store, event card, meetup card. And these are basically components that it will utilize to generate information on. So, for example, an event card, it will put the event name, the time, the date, you know, things like that. And we didn't give it any UI requirements or stipulations. So I am interested to see just how much that is going to come out. But one thing about this is one capability, for example, with Manus. Manus has a certain number of kind of, or a certain amount, basically their, their quota is done differently. It's not, free messages it's more of kind of um maybe it is messages i'm not sure so it has finished the actual generation but it does look like it is having a few problems and so we are going to have it fix the potential issues that's great that it actually you know puts it right here so you can send it to the chat and just click send But I mean, so far it does, it has populated a lot of the app and giving it a look that kind of is, you know, 50% done. I would say if we went through a process of creating a wireframe, planning and brainstorming exactly every feature with AI before we gave it a prompt to build it out, we would have a much more honed in product, but it has fixed the errors fix the TypeScript errors and um, bam, this is our app. So we can, we have a tab 
called discover discover events you can see what events are are up and coming how much they cost their location and date you know you can go into the event look at how many people are attending the organizer more information about it a meetup no meetups created for this event you can create a meetup so your meetup is going to send to your friends i'm pretty sure and you can go to other meetups that other people are hosting and you can say, hey, I'll go to this meetup. So this app idea, honestly, is really, really nice. You can go to your profile, edit your profile, uh, see the favorite events that you have. Maybe there's some recurring events. And this, this is really, really cool. And the cool thing about it. So this page doesn't work index, but I'm, I'm OK with it. Like, honestly, it has a number of other pages that we can can look at so we're actually going to go into our phone and scan this qr code open the expo go app we're going to allow so it's building the javascript bundle right now and let me actually go over to the side as well. Just like that. So it's building the bundle right now. It's downloading the app and everything that our Rourke has done for us. And so we can see the different elements, the dashboard, and we have the app open. So boom, we can see events. We have some filters up here. We have all, we have music, we have technology, we have food, art fitness, food and drink. Uh, let's go to all and let's go to the tech startup conference. And wow, this is really, really nice. So uh, you can favorite it. You can share it. Uh, the shared functionality will probably have, you know, airdrops, sending the people and messages, things like that. Um, you can create a meetup. So you can view your meetups and wow, this is really, really powerful. So you can see who's going to these other meetups, who's invited. You can invite friends uh, based on who you know. You can delete a meetup. Um, you have a profile. Yeah, this is this is actually really nice. Uh, notifications, help and support. You can log out. And yeah, this is this is actually really cool. So this app is definitely something that, you know, if you wanted to create a very good starting point for creating an app, I would use something like this for sure, especially being that you can test it on your phone. I mean, there are definitely some things that I would change. For example, meetups slash index, we would have to fix things like that or the presence of our filters right there in the bar. So it is pretty cool, but we want to give it a different app idea. So Give me a more difficult app idea and give details about the UI and just UI. So let's see what 2.5 gives us to generate inside of work this time. So I think it said a meal planner, personal finance, simply gamified language learning app. It's probably going to give me a few different versions, but I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed with what it did give us uh, this time. So we have a couple more messages. We created that entire app with two messages. I mean, I, <laughs> what what more do I need to say? But um, let's let's actually do this idea because I really like this project hub, a freelancer project and client tracker. Of course, there are apps out there that do this but let's copy it so it's given the core features it's definitely given us more information um to build the app out with so let's copy all of that take it back to a new tab and let Rort do his thing
so our our generation has finished we are going to fix all of the errors that it said that it found just like we did in the last one and this generation took so much longer than the last one we did say that we wanted this to be a more robust and more difficult app to really test the abilities of Rourke. So it did definitely take, you know, at least four times as long as the last one we did. So it's going to fix those errors and we will get to see our preview finally. So it is done thinking and it doesn't look like it has become usable yet. So fix the app what we're gonna say is we're going to fix that and we have no more messages today so i hope that this is going to bring us to a version where we can preview it all right guys we are back it is a different day but i did go in and actually continue building out this app idea so if you remember this was a project hub app and we utilized gemini to give it a super long prompt and we did run into some problems when we ran out of our free messages for today. So I ended up being able to put in the error again and it actually fixed it so that we are able to see the app now and actually utilize it. And so we can see it has a home page. You can add your client. It has many different fields. Let's just say Jane, Jane Doe at gmail.com let's put 444-555-6666 and let's put um four three two one hamster lane okay and then we're gonna click add add client and so right here of course the functionality we only use about three prompts maybe six prompts to build this out and so the functionality isn't all the way there yet however we can add projects we can say hey this is five thousand dollar project we have an end date let's just say flyer design and let's add the project and so now we can go to projects well it didn't add it so Jane Flyer, let's select the client. We have a client that we can select. We can say active $5,000, add a description, color blue, add project. And so now we have our project right here. But of course you saw when I clicked add project, it did not you know, lower that screen and get me back to this one. But this is a great, you know, for us to utilize just six prompts to build this out, I feel like is really, really amazing. And I actually have deployed it. So I have a link right here. Basically what you can do is publish your app so that it can load much, much faster through the um, Expo Go app. And so what I'm gonna do is copy this link. I'm going to put it inside my notes. I'm going to start screen sharing just so I can show you guys the full capabilities of this app. All right, boom. So y'all see it over there. We're going to go to Project Hub. It is going to open it very fast download. It's going to download fast whenever you publish it. So as we can see, there's some empty places. We can switch on dark mode. Of course, that doesn't work right now. We can clear our data uh, about a freelance project and client tracker. Um, let's add our first client. Let's say Jane Doe, Jane Doe at gmail.com. We can say 000444-7777-4432 Hamster Lane and bam, add client. Client added successfully. I know you guys see that. So we can see that once I'm actually on the phone, it does have the necessary animations and transitions between pages, but we can go in here. We can add a project for Jane. We can say Jane flyers. We have active. We can set the, the, um, the budget and put some notes and we can add project project addict successfully. Now here's the cool part about it. And it, it actually coded this out. So, 
when we go into task, we can add a new task. We can say design flyer. And we can set the priority. We can set the date. Let's just add the uh, task. And what we will do is um, add one more task. So plan. And we are going to keep it like that. Something happened. I clicked on something. Well, you get the point. It's it's a lot of. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Let me open this back up. OK, so I wanted to show you guys here that it has progress. So when you are going through these tasks, you can say in progress. And over here is going to say uh, progress one task. And then we're going to say done. And so once it says done, we now have progress at 100 percent. And so we can see that this thing literally built us out an entire app. I mean, we can log time. I mean, if if a company wanted to give its employees a better way to track time on their mobile devices, I can see this being integrated within the back end systems and be a better way. And this is the type of use case that you can expect from a platform like Rourke. Rourke is going to be where people build out platforms for themselves. So maybe this company um wants to create a platform where their customers can you know know when to come back and buy something else they can build out that platform in literally less than a week and deploy it and so i don't know you guys let me know what y'all think about it uh i really like rourke one thing that i did miss previously in the video is um you can choose the ai model so i'm pretty sure this is new i'm pretty sure Maybe it's not. You can use Grok, you can use Sonnet 3.5, and you can use Sonnet 3.7. And so just a, a cool little platform. That is it for today's video. Thank you for taking a look at Rourke AI with me. It's definitely a strong, strong platform. I mean, I haven't seen anything that is creating mobile apps at the same degree as this platform. So definitely take advantage of it. Of course, the link will be in the description among other resources for you to take advantage of. Be sure to follow my Instagram at DLO Brands and, you know, comment what platforms you would want to see. My goal with these videos is to bring your awareness of these AI tools and how you can use them for yourself and your business. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.